folks, it's Dave here from DM Online, DaveMenzies.com, coming to you today with another tutorial. This time we're looking at the changes that are happening on YouTube as regards annotations and their new end screen. Uh, for If you don't know, uh, from the 2nd of May this year, which is 2017, uh, annotations are going to actually disappear from YouTube. You'll no longer be able to use annotations. Instead, you can use cards, which are already there, and end screens which have been around for a while as an option. The difference is that annotations only work on desktop computers and as you probably are aware, most of us are now absorbing content or you know, watching content, watching videos. In general, we're using mobile devices, phones and laptops to, uh, to um, access the web and look at stuff and that's why end screens are now basically replacing annotations because they work on mobile devices and desktops they're actually really cool um what they do is they give you this little area at the end of your videos um where you can add a number of different elements uh, you can add playlists videos you can add calls to action links to any websites you've got associated with your youtube channel and of course uh, a subscribe button to your channel so I think personally, uh, I kind of agree with YouTube. They're saying that this is going to increase engagement and uh, generally be really good for you if you're an internet marketer or just in general, if, if you want more engagement for your YouTube channel, I think this can really only be a good thing. So this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a free resource called Canva to create templates. YouTube actually make uh, have some templates available. You can see here in the end screen annotations window when you're editing you've got some templates that you can use here that are already set up by youtube they're okay um but i think it's probably going to be better in the long run for your personal branding amongst other things to use your own templates to set up your own templates which is what i've done here uh, i've set up a, a kind of a basic template you can set up lots of different templates and just store them in your computer and use them as appropriate for whatever your aims are for the videos that you're uploading for this one, I basically want people to subscribe to my channel and also uh, to click through to landing pages on my approved website for products that I recommend and refer. So this is the template I've done and we'll move on uh, shortly and just go into Canva and show you how I did that and how you can set up these templates and just keep them. Tack them onto your end of, end of your videos and use them as end screens. And then you can just add the elements and we'll go through to that later in the tutorial how you actually go about adding the elements to those um, to that template the thing to bear in mind is these appear in the last 20 seconds or so of your video so you can either uh, as i've done here just create this full template which is basically a, a background image with the template on top of it and just tack that on to the end of your video in your video editor and stretch that out to at least 20 seconds so that you've got time for these elements to appear within the end screen slate as it's known okay so let's go and look at canva so i'll give you these resources uh, in the description but for now uh, this is just canva.com you'll need to create an account it's free there is a, a paid upgrade i've never used it myself uh, i've just been really happy with the, the sort of stuff you can get for the free version so there you go once you've signed up to that you can just log in and go on and create a design to for these templates you kind of want to use go to this section here and use custom dimensions and you want uh 1080 which is hd really so you want that to be 1920 width and height 1080 okay so then you just go ahead and create that design i've already done that so i'm just going to go on to the design i created for my template and show you how that worked out what all i've done here is uh in in kind of reverse order if you like um I've put in this background image, which is just one I, I use for uh, branding. It's it's a still from a little intro sting that I put in front of most of my videos. So I've just used uh, that as a background plate. And then in Canva, you can just go in and add all sorts of different elements. So what I've got here, if you, if you go into elements, you can look at all these different uh, frames and lines and shapes and illustrations. All I've done here is go into shapes 
uh, this is the one that's highlighted at the moment you can see with the little bars around it just this this blue color and I just chose a really basic um, oblong sort of shape here and just stretched it out to size okay then I just added in some text so obviously you can just add text there's different types of formatting for the text so if you look at the text here uh, once you add the text you can just pick one of these subheading or a heading in there they're just sized uh, appropriately different sizes you can go in here and edit the sizes of the the font and the fonts themselves so you just get a drop down you can go through and find one that you like suits your brand and then you can go ahead and just change the sizes of the texts so i've just done that i've done two bars here uh one in, in the sort of bluish color and one in the kind of gray color. Now I've actually taken these colors, um, if I go up to, to here and edit, you've got a, a selection of, of pre-made colors you can just choose, but if you have um, particular colors you use for your branding, my little brand is just DM online, it's a very simple little logo, but uh, I used a, a little, again another little free resource, I'll give you a link to it under the video and it's just called Color Picker, and you can upload um, your own logo or your own design whatever has the colors that reflect your brand and you can go ahead if you don't know the color code already good thing to know for your your logo different colors if you don't know that you can use color picker look at look in the description for the link to color picker but it's just a little free resource you can upload the logo and then you can just hover over areas of it and that'll give you the code for the color so that's what i did here i've added that color code and that's given me that blue color same again for the grey banner underneath and I just stretch these to about half the size of the frame. You want to move, leave room here for a couple of videos in this particular template design. Then once I put the text in uh, I just again went in here to get this little shape here. Um, elements. Um, you could just look through and find something. I think I used um, I can't even remember what I used, lines I think it was, yeah, lines, so if we click on lines that'll give you a whole load of free lines you can use, um, yeah, there's the, the one that I used, and again, once you pop that in there, you can edit all the colours and pull it, you know, all to the side just by dragging these little handles around to get something you like. Leave a little room here for the elements that uh, YouTube are going to give you when you actually go in to start creating the end screen in YouTube. This is just the template so that you can add those elements later. Okay, so that's that's really all there is to it. You can be as um, creative as you want to be creating these templates. Just bear in mind what your objective is, how many elements you want to actually add. If you just want to add a whole load of different videos, links to different videos on your channel, you can do that, or links to different playlists. Just create something using all these um, free shapes and resources and text, things that you can get in Canva to do that. I just wanted something really basic because my main objective for this particular video is to um, get people to click through to a link on my associated website and to subscribe to my channel. In this area you can add uh, a couple of videos which is what I'm aiming to do as you'll see uh, later on when we move into YouTube and I'll show you how to actually put all this together. Okay so let's do that now. Okay so here we are in my YouTube channel and this is the video I've just uploaded and we'll just go ahead now and go into annotations and end screen. Go into the end screen and we'll just start setting up the elements that are on here. So you can see here the area I'm showing you here with the mouse is where all the elements can be added to that. So we're going to add an element. We'll just go ahead and do that. Now you have to uh, promote a video or a playlist and you have to promote subscribe so let's go ahead and do the subscription and you can see there it's just added my little icon that's just my little channel icon so we just can move that to where we want and that's on the area of the template I've already set up okay so that's that used subscribe to Dave Menzies that's done let's add another element and that I want to add a link to my approved website so I'm just going to go in there and pop in that link that I created earlier on and I'm going to go to next and that's going to give me, it's actually going to a, a landing page and there are a number of images that I can choose from that or I could just go to change image and add the different one that I've wanted to 
Um, but I'm just going to go with this one. So I'm just going to go create element, select action, and I'm going to go for sign up, create element, and there we go. Now they all appear overlaid on top of the on top of each other. So you just need to um, make sure you're moving the right one down to the right place. And there we go. So that's the link there added to the link to my approved website. I've just moved that down onto the area on my template and that goes to the free video series. Okay, so now I'm going to do another couple of elements and these can be videos or playlists. Um, so I'm going to go to uh, a video and I'm going to do two videos here. So from what I've, I've researched I've done, it's always a good idea to let YouTube pick one of them. And that's going to be best for viewer. So I'm just going to create that, and we'll see what they've come up with. Again, I'm just going to drag that over to here. Chose on playback, and I'm going to add another video. Actually, I might add a playlist. Um, choose a video or playlist. Um, so I think I'll go for a playlist. And I'll go for personal development, which is one of my playlists. So I've selected that and I'm just going to create the element. And again, it's moved the screen around slightly. It's here. So I'm just going to pop that down there. And these are a decent size. They're, they're all within the area. YouTube has just gone for a, a default size here, which fits quite nicely with the template I've done. They're all inside the box. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it's all safe, looks quite nice, gives people a, a few things to click on. And I'm just going to go for that and save. All changes are saved. So I'm going to go ahead here and also add a card. I've left a little area blank here uh, because that's where your little information sign shows up if you're adding a uh, a card which I also wanted to do so I'm just going to pop a card in and that's going to be right at the beginning of the video actually and it's going to just be the same link that I've created with my approved website so I'm just going to go ahead add the card and it's going to be the link to the approved website again I'm just going to paste that in and press next and it's just the uh, Digital Experts Academy, which I've mentioned in the video, so I'm happy just to go with that image again, and I'll just go with these suggested um, bits of text, calls to action. Okay, so I'm just going to create that card, and there you go, you can see that card's there, and that is when you click on that uh, on mobile devices only. That's uh, That brings up this little card here, which you can click on. And again, that goes to the link which I've set up. Okay, so I hope you find that useful. And I'll put the same uh, end screen on the end of this video. So you'll be able to subscribe to my channel. And uh, a couple of other things, watch a couple of other videos. Okay, so it's been Dave here, DaveMenzies.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And do feel free to leave me uh, comments on any of the videos that you see if you do subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.